hey everyone i have a story today and it's called breathe with me using our breath to feel strong calm and happy right so i love this story and this girl in the book is offering us and teaching us so many ways to use our breath when we're feeling things like upset or unhappy or mad or just plain worried, right? Everyone feels like that. I feel like that. Your families sometimes get that feeling. And we certainly know that we talk about that in school a lot. And one of the songs that I love to sing, and if you know it, you can sing it with me, is a really helpful song that helps me to notice how I'm feeling and then to take some deep breaths. It goes like this. I stop and feel my breathing. Peaceful and quiet. I'm ready to read or eat, right? So I love that song because I really notice when I'm feeling a little bit of a heartbeat, if I'm worried, I know I can just stop because my breath is right here for me. And that's something that I am practicing when I'm practicing my mindfulness. So I'm going to read the story today. And then after that, we're going to track, try some practices together that this girl in the book is teaching us about. All right? So let's get ready to read. Breathe with me. Using breath to feel strong, calm, and happy. Written by Miriam Gates, and it's illustrated by Sarah Jane Hinder. Let's take a look. You are always breathing, up and down, in and out. You use your breath each time you talk or sing for every whisper and every shout. She has her hand right on her heart and she's noticing her breath in and out. You're quick. I mean, your breath can be short and quick, like the drum line in a marching band. Bum 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 bum, the ants go marching, right? A a heartbeat can feel like a beating drum sometimes. Your breath can be long and slow, like waves rolling onto the sand. In breath and an out breath. You will breathe 25,000 times today, and that is healthy for you. But do you know what else your breath can do? One deep breath in and one long breath out can make you feel better too. If you're tired in the morning and it's hard to get out of bed, use your rainbow, rainbow breath to get your body moving and wake up that sleepy head. She has her hands up above her head and she's breathing in out and over in the corner I see her little peace corner. She has her cushion and her yoga mat and a yoga book and there's her rainbow and her doll. Maybe that's her breathing buddy. Rainbow breath. Sit up and let your spine grow tall. Bring your arms out straight to the sides, palms down. 
Inhale and sweep your arms up over your head, palm to palm. Exhale and bring your arms back straight out to the side, palms down. Repeat three times. That's what I always say. Repeat three times. When you go somewhere you've never been and you aren't sure what to do, you can use dandelion breath to feel more comfortable trying something new. So it looks like she's coming to a birthday party. I see the sign that says happy birthday. And she's looking a little bit shy, a little unsure. Hmm, I'm feeling maybe a little bit anxious, maybe a little nervous or worried. She's thinking about a strategy that she can use right now. Dandelion breath. This is how she's doing it. She sits up and let your spine grow tall. Imagine a soft dandelion flower. And right now we have loads of dandelions outside. If you want to find one, you could practice it with an actual dandelion. Take a deep breath in and then blow the air out slowly, sending the seeds in the air. Repeat three times. So they've all picked a dandelion and they're outside blowing the seeds through the air at the birthday party. What a great idea she had. When something makes you mad or even feels unfair, try counting breath and you'll feel calmer there. Hmm, so they're in school and something does not seem fair. So let's do some counting breaths to calm ourselves down so we don't get too mad about it. Notice it, and then we're gonna take care of it. Ah, counting breath. Sit up and let your spine grow tall. Take a deep breath in, counting silently. One, two, three. Now let your bell breath out, counting silently. One, two, three. So it's a big breath in and a smooth breath out. I can see by her eyes and mouth and her cheeks, her face looks very calm. I don't think she's upset anymore. Good job, good strategy. Sometimes you may be sad and feel like crying. A gentle belly breath can help when you're feeling blue. Oh, definitely. She's looking sad. She has some tissues. She's actually crying because maybe her mom has to go to work now. And she knows, I'll see you later, but it's still sad. So what can she do now? She has that really nice quiet place in her room, her quiet spot that she could actually go to. Let's see what she decides to do. Oh, I love this type of breathing, belly breathing. So she's going to lay on the floor. She's going to lay down on her back and she's going to raise one hand, put one hand on her chest or her heart and place the other hand on her belly. So one hand on her heart and one hand on her belly. Take slow deep breaths and feel your chest and your belly move up and down as the air goes in and out of your body. 
Repeat three times, please. At night, when it's hard to fall asleep because your mind is busy and your body feels tight, try balloon breath to get relaxed and ready for a good night. I've heard kids say that this really helps them fall asleep at night. Use a stuffy. She's got her little stuffed bunny right up on her belly and she can watch him going up and down and before you know it, she's sleeping. Balloon breath. So lying down on your back, let your hands rest by your sides, palms up, inhale through your nose. Imagine filling up your body with breath like a big balloon. Exhale and blow the air out through your mouth. What color is your balloon? Is it rainbow? Is it blue? Is it yellow? Try it three times. Repeat three times. So your breath is always here for you in a calm and quiet way. Use it to help you choose how you want to feel in each moment of your day with one deep breath in and one long breath out you are on your way and that is the end of our story i hope you liked it we're going to get ready to do a little breathing practices together now Hi everyone. So today let's do a little breath practicing. Remember in this story, she taught us about five different ways that she uses her breath when different things happen in her life, right? So let's practice them together. So if you wanna take a minute and go run and get yourself a stuffy, go right ahead and then come on back because we'll need that at the end. Boop. All right, here we are again. So let's start with the first breath that she taught us. It was called the rainbow breath. Remember when she first woke up in the morning? So try this. Get yourself into a comfortable seat. Sometimes we call it our mindful body. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, hands down by your side. And then just breathe in as your arms go up. Ready? Let's do it together. Breathing in. Put your palms together and breathing out. Like the shape of a rainbow. Breathing in. Arms go up and breathing out like a rainbow. You can even bend your arms if you like. One more time. Breathe in. Reach up tall. Look up. Breathe out. Great. That was your rainbow breath in, out. So then she had another type of breath that she taught us, which was called counting breath. Remember? This was when she went to, oh, she got really upset in class. Remember when something spilled on the paper and she really had a choice of reacting like a strong reaction? Or she said, instead, I'm going to use my counting breath. And I'm going to relax myself before I do something that I might later regret, right? We've all done that. So her counting breath uses her hands and she breath, took a deep breath in. Two. Three. Try 
try it again. Breathe in, one, two, three, and out, one, two, three. in, two, three, and out. One, two, three, three, two, one. Whichever way you'd like to count. One, two, three, one, two, three. Wow, that feels great. Then, oh, do you remember when she went to the party and there was a group of kids and she felt a little bit unsure and she wasn't sure what to do. She got a little bit of nervousness. Maybe she felt it in her belly. So she said, ah, I'm gonna try my dandelion breath. So she found dandelions and I went outside and I actually found some today. These are the dandelions that she used in her story. Remember all the kids had one? So this is how we do a dandelion breath, breathing in and out. Can you see the seeds blowing everywhere? Breathing in and out. One more time, breathing in and out. Great. Now I'll have dandelions growing in my living room. I wanted to show you something else. This is also, if you can't find any dandelion, but you have bubbles, this is another great bubble breath practice. Breathing in. Steady. Breathing in and out. Notice I'm doing it nice and slow. Sometimes we blow bubbles fast, but for when we're practicing this breath, it's a slow and steady breath. That helps our nervous system to feel calm. It sends a signal that we're getting our bodies Relax, right? We want to slow it down. Okay. Now, remember when her mom was going out and she felt really blue. That was the word she used. She felt blue, disappointed and maybe a little sad. So what did she decide to do? Do you remember? It's called belly breath. So I'm going to try to lay down and hope you can see me when I do that. So actually I might just move myself back. So what she did when she did the belly breath, let me talk to you before I do that. She laid down. So go ahead and try that. Lay down. Let your feet just relax. Let your arms relax beside you. And try it. Oh, I'm going to lay down on the floor and hope you can see me. So she put one hand on her belly and one hand on her heart. And she just took a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Deep breath in. And a deep breath out. And one more time, since so always repeat. And out three times. So, could you do that in the middle of school? Maybe not, maybe not. But you can do the, the laying down types of breaths when you're home or when you're in a place where you have a quiet area. Maybe in your classroom you do have a quiet area and that would be so great for you to say, I think I need a break and I'm going to go do some belly breathing. 
You can also do belly breathing without laying down. Just put your thing, hand on your belly and your one hand on your heart and breathe in. You know. In. And out. One more time. In. And out. So the last type of breathing that she taught us was called balloon breath. So that's when we need the stuffy. So remember her balloon breath. She practiced the balloon breath when she was going to bed at night and she felt like her mind was so full of thoughts that she was having a hard time falling asleep. And that happens to us all the time. Our minds are always thinking, right? So she decided, I am going to just focus and pay attention on my balloon breath. And what, before you know it, she had those little Z's. Oh, actually they were little sheep. <sighs> Sound asleep. Sound asleep. So I'm going to use my bunny. I'm going to lay back down because now I'm pretending I'm in bed. I'm going to bed and I'm having a hard time sleeping. So, hey bunny, let's do some balloon breaths. So now I'm just going to leave my hands down by my side and I'm going to watch my bunny as my bunny goes up and down. These are deep breaths in. See the bunny going up? One more time. I think this is four, but that's okay. Thank you, buddy. All right, so that was five breathe, breathing practices. There's so many breathing practices. And what I'd love for you to do is invent your own, right? Come up with some new ones. We know that there are so many ways to breathe. Remember we breathe, we might take like 25,000 breaths a day. So focusing in on your breath. Not something we usually do. We just breathe automatically. We don't usually pay attention, but when we're practicing our mindfulness, our breath is our anchor. Our breath helps us to bring some clean oxygen in. And a relaxed body happens definitely so remember you breathe all day breathing is free breathing is fun so challenge yourself to come up with some new breathing breathing names all right i'm so happy you tuned in and i will see you again thank you so much